Okay, here we have this peg weight uh, inkwell again. Um, I've, as you can see, it's got covered chips in it. The, I've marked them with a uh, coat tip pen just to show you where they are. I'm going to reduce these down using this piece of abrasive cloth. Um, just soak it in plenty of water, keep it wet throughout the operation, and literally just rub away the chip. Now this will take some time, but by doing it by hand, and particularly my thumb, I find I can feel the contour of the glass, thus reducing the chip but keeping the contour of the original glass. I haven't done that one yet, but we'll just move around just to show you. I'm going to start doing this one. And that's all there is to it, just plenty of water with the abrasive cloth and just rub away the chip, keeping the contour, following the contours of the glass. Okay, I have now reduced the chips using the wet and dry and the water. Oops, spilt that. Never mind. Um, the smaller chip on the edge of name number one and as you can see number two, the one that was on the top, went quite deep um, and I've taken over quite a large area. By taking over the larger area that will reduce the effects of distortion. I'm going to now polish these. Um, with number one I'm going to polish by hand and number two I shall polish by machine because it's, a, it's over a larger area. I'm going to do them by hand and by the machine just to show you that the results are exactly the same. The only difference between doing by hand and doing by machine is time. Okay, to polish by hand, quite literally just get the piece of chamois that's in the kit. We'll start with the coarse powder that I've already mixed down there and you just get that and rub away at your scratch. Couldn't be simpler. It does give you a bit of arm ache after a while, but uh, give it a quick rub there. Wipe away with a bit of kitchen roll. I always use kitchen roll. And even on that short space of time, you can see it's already started to make a difference. Okay, now with the other one, obviously that's exactly the same process, only we're going to use the mop and the drill. Now this is going to be a bit noisy as usual. Now with this, you just squirt the area dab your finger and just place where you want it and as you can see these, these mops will change shape to the contour of the piece you want to polish quick wipe down and once again, you can see the difference already with this powder. After using the coarse powder, we will go on to the medium powder and then the fine. Um, I'll come back in a minute and show you the final polishing. Okay, here's the uh, results after the first three grades. I've done the coarse, the medium and the fine, and as you can see, that's come up pretty good. We're just going to give it a quick zap with a final polish. Obviously, exactly the same with the other as with the others. By hand, just dip your piece of chamois in the polishing mixture and rub away. Quite simple. And doing it by machine quick squirt, a dab of polish onto the area that you want to do, turn the noisy old machine on 
and give it a quick polish. This is a new mop, so it's a bit reluctant to shake, but once uh, it's had a good soak in, it will. But I don't need it to shake now, just to give it this final polish. Okay. Quick. Bit of kitchen towel. Ooh. And there you go. As you can see, it's nice and shiny, and uh, you wouldn't really know that it had a chip. Okay, thank you very much for looking. Um, don't forget, check out eBay, IPD Glass Polishing, for all the polishing kits. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Thanks for looking. Bye.